During the first five weeks of the 1980 session, the House of Delegates handled some 1,100 pieces of legislation compared to over 500 measures that came up in the Senate. Except for tax and appropriations bills, both the House and Senate for the rest of the session will deal only with legislation that's been passed by the other chamber. Thus far, major bills that have failed to clear the General Assembly have been as newsworthy as those which have passed including the Equal Rights Amendment, which was killed by the Senate, as was a move to repeal the state's controversial parole law. A Senate committee once again dealt a death blow to a bill which would have allowed collective bargaining for public employees, and a legislative study commission dealing with conflict of interest in the legislature has been put off until 1981. The House, meantime, has defeated a measure which would raise the age for a person to buy beer or wine, and it also refused to pass a food tax credit for low-income Virginians. Among the major legislation that has passed thus far includes a bill which would remove the sales tax on non-prescription drug items. That's cleared the House. A measure to expand the State Corporation Commission from three to five members has also passed the House, as well as a package to protect the state's coastal resources. The Senate, meantime, has passed a controversial bill to reform the state's sexual assault laws, which removes the requirement that the victim demonstrate she tried to resist her attacker. The Senate has added mass murder to crimes that will be punishable by death and passed a bill that would outlaw so-called head shops. Still to come in the session are measures to repeal the sales tax on food, the bill to add a four cent tax on gasoline, and both houses must approve Governor Dalton's 1981-82 budget. Thus far, the 1980 General Assembly has been cautious, somewhat conservative, and interested in maintaining the status quo. And there's no indication that the final weeks of the session will bring any change in that policy. Mike Deason, Area 10 Eyewitness News.